Hello guys, this video is all about the new engine I'll be using for the Super Mario 64 fan remake. Now I'll explain why I'm switching from UE4. I think that Unreal Engine 4 is one of the best tools for creating games out there, there's no doubt about it. Unfortunately the FBX support in Blender is kinda messy. Not blaming anyone here. That format's nature is closed source, which explains the lack of support. In consequence the import-export pipeline is a real pain, especially regarding scaling issues, reason why as a Blender user decided to no longer use UE4 for this project. However, not everything is lost. I've been looking at this new engine called Armory 3D, it's fully integrated with Blender. This integration brings a lot of benefits to game developers. In this particular project, it removes the need of exporting assets, which in my personal opinion it's a very tedious and time-consuming task in game development. It's also a very lightweight engine. Even though it's in a very early stage of development, this engine has top-notch graphics features, like voxel cone tracing global illumination for fully dynamic lighting, and very soon it will support DXR acceleration for modern ray tracing techniques. It supports all platforms including current game consoles and mobile devices. And the best part is that the engine is fully open source. This engine has all the features a simple project like this needs. It might not have a lot of fancy tools other engines provide, but it's improving with every release, the future seems very promising for this engine. Now I'll show my very first little baby steps using this engine. Here's little Mario. As you can see here, I'm just testing some of the features of the engine, no fancy graphics yet, the important thing to focus for now is in the gameplay. But don't panic. Mario's movement is just a test, the next step will be to create a state machine, capable of handling all Mario's interactions and actions. I'm very excited for the future of this project, and the new engine. In the next video I will show my first serious attempt at moving Mario around. I want to thank you all for the patience. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.